slightly helpful videos. Today we'll look at one by Recom. It's a graphics tablet and uh, comes in two sizes, small and a medium size. It comes with a battery free pen. The pen has two buttons. Ubuntu by default. Mm, those are crackers in the background if you hear them. Uh, it's Tiffany. Ubuntu by default comes with a driver for Recom, which uh, in my case doesn't work. And the driver has options uh, to map the buttons to certain actions. So, for example, you can use the buttons to scroll up and down. I think it's a good way to browse. And uh, it gives you an option to select tracking mode. Tracking mode can be either tablet absolute mode or touchpad relative mode. Uh, if you are using the tablet mode, the active area of the tablet is mapped to your screen. So the right upper hand of your t active area of your tablet will correspond to your screen's right upper hand corner. Uh, I have set mine to touchpad relative mode. Uh, this basically means that your tablet uh, acts like a bigger touchpad. The problem with the uh, Vacom one tablet on Ubuntu is that it does not work out of the box. When I connected it to my USB 15.04 setup, the uh, cursor didn't move, the pen didn't work. For that, uh, this is what you should be doing. First, let's open terminal and type lsusb. Uh, you'll get a line with your hardware ID. Make sure you're referring to the line which says Vacom Limited. Uh, and this is the hardware ID of uh, my device. My device is a CTL471 Vacom 1 small. And this hardware ID will be used to fix the problem at hand. What I'll do is I'll then start uh, elevated JIRIT. And I'll browse to this folder, etc. default, and I'll open Grub. So if you read this file, it says in the very first line that if you change this file, run update Grub afterwards to update boot Grub Grub dot cfg. So this is the file that will be edited. eventually so what I'll do is I'll uh, go to this line grab cmd line linux default quite splash and I'll add this there I've added this text usbhid.quarks0x056a0x0300x4 and many zeros so I, I will be pasting this in the video description area down below and if you See, 056A and 0300 are from the reading of LSUSB. So this is this is the hardware ID which is used in this text here. So when you are you are modifying your grub file, make sure to use the correct hardware ID. Mine was 056A 0300, and the text here says 0x before 056A and again 0x before 0300 yours might differ after you, are yeah, after you have done this save the file and as instructed run update grub so what I'll do is after you have run update grub you should re boot your system and your tablet should work uh, this is for people who have installed ubuntu in an old fashion if you're using ubuntu from a live usb this won't work when you update grub you'll get an error it says this to fix this 
what you can do is uh, shut down your system take your live usb pen drive and plug it into a different system and then open the boot folder from on on that pen drive i've already attached a second live usb to the system and i i've opened the boot drive boot folder the grub folder and this grub root cfg so uh, you can see the menu entries that are visible when you boot into ubuntu so we normally select and try ubuntu without installing um, and i've already added this text here so default file looked like this what i did was i added this text here and saved this is the uh, same text that i had added to the grub file to the grub file so after doing this i'll save this and then i'll remove the pen drive and i'll boot using it and the vacuum tablet will work thank you for watching